At nine, President Biden will award the Presidential Medal of Freedom to the late American athlete and Olympic gold medalist Jim Thorpe on Friday. In Chicago today, descendants of Thorpe saying they'll be in Washington to accept that award more than 70 years after his death. WGN Shannon Halligan joining us now with more. Shannon. Yeah, once dubbed the world's greatest athlete, Jim Thorpe will now add another title to his name. The name Jim Thorpe has become synonymous with many things, but he was first just grandpa to Gail Lynn Hannon. Well, when we knew my grandfather is my grandfather, he was grandpa. And it wasn't until we got older, he was, he was in Chicago during the Second World War. And at the time we were children, we didn't know how famous he was or how talented he was. He played professional baseball and football, becoming one of the founding fathers of the National Football League. He and George Hallis got together. I've got pictures of them in old cars with running boards, planning the American Football League, which is now the NFL. My grandfather was the first president in 1920. It wasn't always an easy path for the legendary athlete. During the 1912 Olympic Games, Thorpe competed using shoes he had to dig out of the dumpster. So when he got there, he was getting ready for the first events. He went to get his shoes. They were gone. Somebody stole them. So if you look at the pictures very closely, he went into a garbage can and got a two odd shoes, and that is how he ran. He went on to win both the decathlon and pentathlon, the first and only athlete in the world to win both in one Olympic year. The King of Sweden called him the greatest athlete in the world. Thorpe was also the first ever Native American to win a gold medal for the U.S., which at the time was an additional barrier he had to overcome. He did feel at times that he was prejudiced against because of his Indian blood and um, it's sad how when you look at the history if you've read anything about it we they were we were treated very badly Thorpe died in 1953 but he will now add presidential medal of freedom recipient to his long list of accomplishments complete surprise I don't know how you get even nominated for this award. I mean, he deserves it, but uh, we're thrilled. Thorpe's granddaughter will travel to D.C. to accept the award on his behalf from the president on Friday. Oh, I'm going to thank him for the honor, the highest award, the Medal of Freedom. We are so proud and so pleased and so happy to be receiving it. Galen and her grandson are flying to D.C. tomorrow. The awards are expected to be presented at the White House on Friday. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News.